Welcome again to Educator.com, and it wouldn't be a reading comprehension course if we didn't have a lesson about Kill Your TV. Once upon a time, in the great era of 1996, there was this movie called The Cable Guy. It had an actor named Jim Carrey in it, and he was a stranger that came to town, and he was the cable guy. He came by and fixed Matthew Broderick's cable and said, hey man, let's be friends. No, no, let's really be friends. Let's just keep being friends and friends. And he was obsessive, he was lonely, and he was a little nuts. He didn't know when to go away. And why was he this way? Why was he so crazy? Because of too much TV. Finally, at the end of the movie, Jim Carrey's character sacrifices himself because someone has to kill the babysitter. Now, this movie, and you can maybe YouTube it or Netflix it or however you want to do it to kind of understand what I'm talking about here. If this movie was made today, would we only be talking about TV, making someone a little nuts? Well, wouldn't we also be talking about the internet and stuff like that, that's similar TV? Maybe we'd be talking about video games or social networking. It's just way too accessible now, isn't it? So... In this course, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about a little bit about the hazards of television, then I'm going to talk about the good things, and then after that, there's going to be an assignment where you actually track how much time you watch TV and anything like TV, which would be Netflix, YouTube, or stuff on the internet that's similar to TV. First off, it is a hazard to the growth of your brain. When you're actually watching TV, your brain is actually less active than when you are asleep. Now, why is this important? Well, I think it should be obvious. I mean, your brain is kind of like a muscle, especially when you're, you know, a teenager and you're 15, between 18, that it kind of needs food as well as exercise. And TV is kind of like junk food for the brain. Strangely enough, if you watch a lot of TV and then you try to go to sleep, you actually get less restful sleep. This is because we have this thing called the circadian rhythm going on in our minds. We, as human beings, in instinctively want to be awake and alert when there's light out, and then we want to go to sleep when it's dark. If you look at a glowy screen that's flashing light at you all the time, you're just going to automatically be more alert and have a lot of energy, and it's going to be harder to get to sleep. Now, there's another problem. TV makes you a sucker for advertisements. And I'd like to, to share a little story about Bren Franklin, if I could. When Bren Franklin was a little kid, he was running around and he saw another kid with a whistle. And Ben Franklin thought this was an amazing whistle and he immediately went up to this kid and said, Hey, I will buy that whistle for all the money in my pocket right now. And the other kid said, All right. Took the money, gave him the whistle. And then Brian Franklin went home and started whistling on this whistle and was having a lot of fun. And then his older sibling said, Hey, Ben, you know you uh, paid four times as much as what that whistle was actually worth. And then after that, Ben felt like this. He felt upset and he felt sad. And he said to himself, I will never pay too much for a whistle again. By that, I mean just paying too much for anything. The entire business of advertising, especially on TV, is to make you pay too much for something. And if your brand is less active than when you're asleep, you're probably going to be a sucker for the advertisements. Also, TV correlates with obesity. Now, when I say correlate, I mean for how much time that someone watches TV, there's generally a higher percentage of someone also being obese. And it doesn't mean causing but it does mean kind of the same thing. According to the Health of Human Services, it notes that 14% of all teenagers are obese. Now, obese doesn't just mean a little overweight or a little chubby. It means obese, like so big, that it's actually unhealthy and you're probably going to have a heart attack when you're 30. 66% of people watch TV while they're eating. Now, this doesn't mean that TV causes obesity, but it certainly isn't helping 